For everything, there is a season and a time for every matter under heaven, a time to be born and a time to die, a time to plant and a time to pluck up what is planted, a time to kill and a time to heal, a time to break down and a time to build up, a time to weep and a time to laugh, a time to mourn and a time to dance, a time to throw away stones and a time to gather stones together, a time to embrace and a time to refrain from embracing, a time to seek and a time to lose, a time to keep and a time to throw away, a time to tear and a time to sow, a time to keep silence and a time to speak, a time to love and a time to hate, a time for war and a time for peace. That's from Ecclesiastes 3 verses 1 to 8. Rainy day today. Well, I'll just come and check. I just did manage to set a little bit. Yeah. Has set yesterday's work. Pouring with rain, but the pigs are out. I was thinking they'd stay in their houses, but no. And Jelly Bean can hear my voice, so she's coming close. Yes, I see you. Might be time to connect this downpipe, I think. It's lying over there, so I do have it. Chris knows that this is usually feeding time. So he's standing waiting in the rain. Oh my goodness. I'm waiting for the rain to stop. Sometimes it doesn't matter what the weather is. The pigs want to be fed, they've got to be fed. So I've got to go and get another bag of pig food out of the car. So I'll move the wheelbarrow. The other wheelbarrow is unfortunately filled with sand from the gardening. So I'm just going to empty this water out. Get pig food out of the car. So this morning I did notice Peanut busy dancing around over here with the big pigs and I see this is the problem so this whole section of fence here where I had put in or well, I had someone put in the um, chicken wire at the bottom to stop um, piglets being able to go across um, because the strips of wood at the bottom were not attached onto the posts. Um, none of them have remained on. So I'm going to have to redo all of this. You can see it's all off. You can see none of them were attached onto the actual posts. And um, there's some lying down over there. They've moved them all around. So this is now where... I'm sure Coco Pop will go through this to the uh, back to the other side and then get out. Um, but yeah, this is all a bit of a disaster because nothing was actually fixed on to the actual posts. So this is all going to have to be redone and I don't know, I might have to try and get to see if if the rain holds off a bit today, I might try and see if I can come in and do some repairs along here. Because otherwise, this is just going to be 
pigs running all over the show because the whole reason why I didn't put the piglets in the big pen was because they could still fit through the wire, but they have got a bit uh, um, through the sheep panels, but because they've got a bit bigger, maybe they won't. But this is just a disaster, so I'm going to have to fix this today, if possible, because tomorrow I start work online at half past three in the morning. So, um, because there's a break in the rain, I didn't go and get my back brace, but I have now moved a lot of um, rocks. Just along this side over here, um, I'm going to go and have a cup of coffee, and then I'm going to come back and um, try and screw, I don't know, try and fix the mess on the other side. <laughs> That's all I can say. Um, I've got to just, yeah, I think these pieces of wood are a bit thin. I might need to look for thicker ones as well. So, um, I think I need a cup of coffee first. Oh, they get a fright. Okay, so, it seems like my wash line method that has worked for a few weeks has slowly been dismantled over there. I don't know if it's actual cinnamon bun or if it's the little piglets. But what I've decided to do is I'm going to Maggie's water, which, yeah. When it gets sort of below like the nipples, she gets impatient and she knocks it flying. I mean, she does have water in those other black tubs, so she's got lots of water. But she knocks it, yeah, it's not, it's suspended with rope in the trees, but she knocks, knocks it over. So I'm actually going to move that to this corner over here because we've lengthened this pipe to get water to cinnamon bun. Oh, feeding time at the zoo. Tandy's keeping an eye on the babies here. And, um, and to move this, to put water in that is quite like a pain. So if I move the blue one over here, it'll keep that fence a bit more secure as well. And it'll be easier to fill both at the same time. Both cinnamon buns and Maggie's. And talking about Maggie, yeah, she's definitely spending more time. She's been in back in the house again this morning. She's um, she's found a piece of shade netting that must have been somewhere. I don't even know where, but that's inside her house as well. So she's definitely nesting. She's ready to have these babies. She's tired of being pregnant. Aren't you, Maggie? Look at your face again. You're so busy with your nesting. We are now climbing inside the bucket. Even though she's got water in her other things. Yes. Licking your lips, Maggie. Okay, I untied this, ready to move it up. And um, in the meantime... Guess who's in her house decorating again? Okay, so I've tied it up here. And we'll see if this helps. So I can fill this one, this one, and that one. And that other water one as well, all at the same time. I'm being consumed by little piglets. I can feel them. Biting on me because this lid is so tight I can't get it off to check water or whatever so I'm actually just cutting using the knife that I have with me at the moment just to cut a hole in the top while I am being slowly pulled apart by little piglets. Right, at least I can see what's happening and direct water in to fill this up again. 
not much. It's too low for the water to come through the thing. But as I say in South Africa, a bird marker plan. So that's what we're busy doing. This is filling quite quickly. Let me fill this one. We're coming to check this out. We'll have to use something to make a bigger hole that the hose can fit in, but see the pigs are drinking water now. Cinnamon bun has never really been. Oops, there we go. It's going to overflow here now. Let me put you go and just turn off. Right. Let's turn off the video. Lifesaver, this blue Betty. And you naughty little monkeys. Yep, they figured out how to use that pig nipple. Brilliant. Oh, I finished all of this just in time. The rain is starting again. Maggie's lying down in her house. Um, I'll come and check on her a little bit later. Um, maybe today's the day. She's been very busy house building in there. Come check on you. I'll keep coming to check on her every now and then. Like you saw, I just fold it. Now it's empty. Um, it's got to have a leak somewhere. It doesn't seem to be leaking from the nipple, so I don't know. Maybe she's bitten a hole in the bottom or something. Um, I think I might have to move Oreo's one that he's not using over here, but. Um, yeah, so I've set this up, but I think it might have a crack on the bottom or something that it's just leaked out because you can see the water's just run all the way down. Um, yeah, I'll have to bring Oreo's one for her because he doesn't use it because he's a tosser. It's such a miserable cold day. I think I'm going to do this, um, do a nice pork roast like a slow roasted pork i think it's the right kind of day for that unfortunately here they remove uh, all the fat i don't know what it is in europe that they remove all the fat fat in the skin what make good crackling but there's a little layer of fat there anyway so i've just scored that and i'm now going to make a mixture with um i've got some fennel and um Obviously salt, pepper, maybe some coriander, um, and uh, just rub that into this piece of pork. So I have just sprinkled on some salt, pepper, coriander, fennel, um, that garlic and herb seasoning I've got, and steak and chop seasoning, and I'm going to just rub this in now just rub it all in because i have scored it a little bit but it's not like that much but rub it in and then i'm just going to sprinkle some olive oil on the top and um, hopefully that will create like a nice crust put it in the oven and uh, I'll start off with the highest heat because I don't have like a grill function on this oven. So 
I'm not sure I would get like a crisp crackling anyway, but put it on its highest heat and um, and then I will reduce it later on. So hopefully I want to just try and get like a nice crispy crust on it. Um, it won't be like the perfect crackling because, yeah, that's been removed from this piece of meat. And, um, and see if we can get a nice tender bit of pork. I'll do some potatoes and that to go with it and some other veggies. Yeah, definitely. Sunday roast day. Right, some olive oil sprinkled on. Olive oil is quite thick because it's quite cold. So it's like butter at the moment but hopefully it'll melt a bit in the oven it's amazing even though the sun was shining the last two days and um, my laundry was hanging outside oh from friday lunchtime until evening and then the whole day saturday in the sunshine some stuff is still not drying so even though the sun is shining there's not much drying in the air and yeah, hopefully it'll get dry now in the cottage. I usually only put the fire on the evening, but even though the temperature is actually warmer, just because it's cold, like rainy, it just feels colder. So fire is on earlier today. When the ground is wet like this, the piglets can't resist, can you? I'm just coming out now. You're all coming charging me. All of you. Even Coco Pop. Hey, hey, hey. Oh, and I put the wrong shoes on for you. Right, just used my hole saw to make a hole so that the um, pipe can fit through the top. This is the one that I've taken from Oreo that he just kept on knocking over, which I'm going to give to Maggie, seeing her one seems to be leaking at the bottom. Maggie's giving birth. I don't want to disturb her, but she's in the middle of having these babies. So if you can't hear me, it's because I'm whispering. But she's she's busy. We seem to already be two out. It looks like a third coming out. I don't know. They're quite fat little things. I don't know about the one at the back. It looks like it's not quite out yet. Oh, it's just come out and it's not quite moving. Yeah, she's still giving birth. Of course she has to wait for the wet day. It seems like there's three drinking on her. There's a fourth one behind her, but it's doesn't seem to be moving. Yep, there's another one coming out now. Okay, that one that came out at the back is starting to move a bit. Knee looks like knee. Why am I calling him knee? Nick looks like a musician busy filing up his cello or something, yeah? I haven't played the cello for years. <laughs> she's quite finished yet hey Maggie but they're drinking well yeah. and they're big eh yeah. so Maggie is busy giving birth so far 
seven piglets i'm not sure if she has finished but she has chosen the wettest day in the last few weeks so she's definitely still in labor but i'm just here feeding her some apples there we go just to sort of some more there we go one more there we go Megs you're doing good go my girl I think this is just the one horns piglets. There might still be more to come. She hasn't passed off to birth yet. I'm a bit like a drowned rat. The minute you go outside to start doing the feeding and checking on Maggie, it starts sousing down. So, a little bit wet. Just coming to check on Maggie before it gets dark raining still um, and you're talking to the babies She doesn't seem to have had any more. She hasn't moved, she hasn't eaten her food, but she did eat the apples that I gave her, so. They all seem to be well fed and sleeping now. Right, so the afterbirth is past now, so it's just the seven that are very active. They've been drinking and I've just come in here and now they're just looking to snuggle up and find some nice warm spots. Maggie's absolutely exhausted. For Maggie not to eat her food, you must know she's tired. But she ate the apples that I gave her. I love how they snuggle in here. Yeah. Very misty morning this morning. Um, I've been up since 3.30 doing a um, visit for a school in Pakistan. So because of the time difference is five hours between. So it's been a very early start. But I'm just going to quickly check on Maggie. And her babies see how they're doing and then i'm back for the next meeting hey maggie i'm just coming to check to see how you're doing this morning huh right i can see one two three four five there's one that looks like it's been squashed and I don't see the seventh one. Okay. Right, one looks, didn't make it. And I don't know where number seven is. But we seem to have one, two, three, four, five over here. That one looks like it's been squashed. Okay, some or other, this one is right down here in the mud. So she's got five left now. One was squashed. This one must have followed her outside and 
I don't know, got squashed on in the mud or something. So the five remaining babies are all snuggled up there. I'm sure as soon as Maggie's finished eating, she'll come in and feed them. You can see how she actually built with the straw that she pushed out. She did build a wall to sort of keep them in. And it's just unfortunate that one of them seemed to have followed her out at, during the night and then couldn't find its way back. Um, and this is the, the sad thing about, well, I suppose it's not the sad thing. It's the re reality about farming and that there's always, you know, there's always life on a farm. And there's always death. And that's just part of farming. You know, it's not just with the animals. It can even be you plant fruit trees. And they all grow beautifully. And one just doesn't take and doesn't make it. I mean, it's, it's the reality of farming. This piglet is checking out the fence and trying to come across over here because... One thing, it doesn't take them long to know me as the food lady. And when they see me, they think I'm going to be bringing them some food. Yeah, Maggie's still looking quite big. But she's she's got quite a long body and quite depth. So she doesn't go out sideways when she's pregnant. She goes downwards, if that makes any sense. But they've obviously been drinking because you can see her um, teats are not as engorged as they were yesterday morning, just before she gave birth. I'm still keeping an eye on um, that little black and white female. Um, she did come out when I put out the food. She was sniffing about. She's not eating like some of these gingers are. But it is raining and it is cold. And so some of them are preferring to huddle in. She's gone back inside. She seems to be drinking. There's no sign of the diarrhea. So um, I'll just carry on keeping a close eye. Some days I just have the urge to be creative so I think I've got uh, I need to find where my other paintbrushes are because those ones are quite big sizes there but I think I've got my big um, sketchbook yeah I think I'm going to put some music on and um, do some painting. So I know the light isn't very good. This is just a, a very rough um, sketch. And um, I'm going to be, uh, yeah, so this will be painted and... I'm very into sort of like use of design and patterns. So that'll come into this. So this is just to let me know what I'm putting down. So it does look very childlike, but there's a certain strategy involved here. Yeah. So when I put the 
piglets in here. Um, it's just over a week, about a week and a half ago, after the vet came. This all had lots of grass in. Apple pie hadn't really been eating the grass. But, uh, yeah. I don't know if I would call this rooting. I think this is more turning over. <laughs> so I don't need to bring a tractor or a plow in here. I will dig it over myself. They're doing a great job, these piglets. Um, when the ground is soft and they are in a smaller enclosure, this is what they will do. When they're in a bigger area, like these ones are, where they've got all the space, um, they don't turn that over at all. So if you're keeping them in a smaller area, so uh, they will turn it over like this. If the ground is soft, if the ground is hard or whatever, they won't bother. But yeah, they're having a fun time over here, these piglets. Good news is that the black and white piglet is out eating the one that was had the, uh, there's no sign of the um the diarrhea the scars so obviously that um vitamin supplement that i gave helped a lot maggie's babies have come out for the first time today this is their first visit because it's not raining it is overcast, a little chilly, so they are still like a little bit cold when they come outside. But they are out exploring. There's a very brave one that doesn't stay with the rest of the pack. So the two ones that passed were also ginger and black. And so there's this black and white one. There's a sort of a dark brown and white, white one that will eventually go black and white and then there's this other ginger and black but predominantly black with ginger so um, of the seven piglets she had five of them basically black and ginger and only two black and white like that little one but they're so cold, but they're determined to follow mommy. And that's unfortunately what happened to the one that um, obviously went out, followed her out the first night. And because it was pouring with rain, um, there was a lot of mud and it literally got stuck in the mud. But they're quite big piglets and they're quite fat because she's got lots of milk, but she's not as... They're definitely drinking a lot because it's, she's not as bagged up as she was. But you're cold outside, but you want you to follow mommy. And that one is now trying to pick up a stick. Oops. It's like a little Maggie mini me, that one. These others are just like Chris. The Tim Tam seems to have become a little bit cooler. She's got <laughs> more of them hanging with her, so she's not eating alone anymore. She now has company. So Ollie has come back, and he is giving Matilda a very much needed service because the light for the service came on in September, and yeah. Anyway, she's getting a service. But we need a sump plug. One of those. Okay. <laughs> so, Ali says this filter <laughs> is a bit shot. So it's just as well we putting new filters in. So Tandy was a very, very, very naughty girl yesterday. So, um, she's on a chain and she knows that that is her punishment when she's naughty and she knew she was naughty because when I called her name she wouldn't come to me and I had forgotten her name and um, actually stayed away from around here for 
most of the day and only came back to have some dinner and that's when I got her and put on the chain and what did she do she went to where the sheep are and she chased the sheep which she knows she knows she's not allowed to do the girls next door caught her and luckily they managed to save one of the sheep um, I'll put the picture of their message in this video so you can see she chased the sheep and the one sheep fell um, over some luck like, landed between rocks and the fence and luckily the girls were there to save the sheep otherwise that sheep would not have made it and I would have been in a lot of trouble and they would probably have yeah ended Tundi's life for doing that so this is for her own safety and to teach her a lesson and she knows like when I've caught her chasing the pigs you put her on the chain um for a couple of days and then she's very good and then does is very good for a a few um weeks and then slips back into doing something naughty again and then she goes on the chain and then she's good again so hopefully she's going to be good and not go and chase sheep but i've been doing some research and apparently what i have to do she's trying to make up to me now look at this um apparently what i have to do is i've got to put her on the leash and then actually take her to the sheep and then walk her around the sheep and reward her for not chasing them so <sighs> that i can only do on thursday when i'm not online because i don't have time to go now looking for these sheep that she's chasing so while i'm out feeding the pigs someone has moved in now she's never done this before but i think i'm going to give leeway because i think these puppies are quite soon and she's maybe just wanting a little bit of comfort hey juno what's the problem hey maggie is showing her disgust with this blue one that somehow or other seem to leak a lot of water out so that one has now been put in place but she likes her blue one right maggie you're right inside the barrel what are you doing yes so look what just happened in the brambles eight eight puppies all all girls one male one male So Juno's been, the last couple of days, she's been sleeping a lot and I caught her, um, she actually came into the cottage earlier and she sat on the chair I always sit on and I think that's when her waters broke because she like wet my, my chair. But then she came down here to the brambles and had the babies. This is help. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, so we'll cut some. Claudia is just going to cut some brambles. But I don't. I don't think she can stay. Yeah. I mean, it's not. We will leave her now because she's scared. Slow. Scared. Yes. Mm. We will have lunch, and then in the afternoon we will come to see if we can. Because she can, we can move them into the, yeah. into the kitchen or, because then she's got a proper bed, you know, they've got dog beds and, there's the flinos, Pluto, was it you? We know it was you. <laughs> hey, Pluto? He looked like father of the. Now, I have no idea how long this gas has been running for, but um, I never put it on. So, Ollie had the right screws um, needed to screw down the bits of the roof where they'd run out of screws before, so no more flapping and blowing in the wind. Chili bean. 
Yes, what are you doing here by the well, which has been closed off? You've got so much grass to eat, why are you coming into the well area? Why? George came running, he thinks it's feeding time as usual. Chris followed me to go and check on Jelly Bee, now he's also in this area. Come Chris. What are you guys doing here? What are you doing to me today, all of you animals? Today is the day where we try and do random breakouts, I think. So I didn't film it, but um, I put Tandy on the leash and I walked her in between the sheep. She was very good. She didn't bark. She didn't growl. She didn't even react to the shepherd's dogs. He started shouting at me. Um, in Portuguese and making signs of cutting the throat etc etc so I don't think he was very happy with my dog but um, I just explained to him that uh, after he'd finished shouting at me now follow Portuguese and I think that actually maybe infuriated him even more but um, yeah <laughs> so when I told her to sit she sat down so she was very very good so I think this is what I have to do, is I have to put her on the leash and walk her between the sheep and keep repeating, uh, no barking, no chasing sheep, and hopefully she will listen. Right, Jelly Bean's made her way out. Chris is lumbering along. Is he going to be able to walk over the pipe? I don't know if he can lift his legs. Oh, oh, oh my goodness, Chris, you're just like me. Lumbering along, lifting those legs. Because I had to lumber along and lift the legs to get in. Come. Out of there. That's a good boy. That's a good boy. Isn't nature magnificent? Look at her cleaning them. She's not more than a puppy herself, and yet she knows just what to do. There doesn't seem to be two the same color. So she's got eight completely different color combinations. Ollie has done a magnificent job fixing the fence where Coco Pop got out. So I'll be able to move her back in so that she can have grass. So I can move her out of Piggy Piglet prison. <laughs> Yeah, because once she discovers where she can get out, she'll go back there every single time. But she doesn't destroy fences. Oreo is the one that destroys fences. Coco Pop exploits fences. Okay. <laughs> so I've seen Jelly Bean in this house a few times. So I think... Hopefully this will be where she decides to have her piglets because I haven't finished the other pen yet so I can't move the other piglets there, the bigger ones. I can't put her into the maternity ward where she's supposed to be. So, um, but because Ollie's fixed that fence, I can put Coco Pop back in here again. Um, yeah. I don't know like if I can trust those piglets in here if we're going to spend our time chasing them around again. I suppose it might be worth a try. So maybe I'm working tomorrow. So maybe when I finish work tomorrow, I might um, try and move those piglets so I can move Jelly Bean um, into that pen that the piglets have completely dug up.
knife slipped while cutting up the vegetables so yeah my plaster's in the kitchen but the pigs are waiting for their food so i'm going to try and see if i can use food bag to try and stop the bleeding hopefully this will work until i get to my first aid kit so i can at least i've still got to finish cutting up that one um yeah right let's get on to feeding these pigs quickly are your babies all out exploring look at them oh so cute and even though we have secured this and we think we can't ever get them to escape somehow or other is one that always manages so we're thinking they're climbing onto this block I put to stop them from going through and then jumping over that way. Two of them out, they can't get back in and um, yeah, of course they want to eat some food. It's difficult because I don't want to herd them past Maggie because then they're going to start eating Maggie's food. So. Have to make a plan okay so these little piglets have been sprinting around like a mad thing mad things like racehorses they don't realize they're piglets they're now down there trying to get them to get in the gate to maggie's pen so we can direct them again from there back into their own but they see me stand maybe if i take a few steps oh back yeah try that and then look at the little things now they're busy wandering around all over there it's like catching an adult kuni kuni is actually very easy they'll follow the bucket but these little piglets oh my goodness Oh, right, maybe, maybe it'll come up here. Is it going to come up here? That one's coming. One coming. Is it going in? Yes, I think we've got one in. Hard work and ingenuity, but those two little blighters are in. Yeah. So it turns out that Juno has 10 babies, not eight. <laughs> so the other two must have been behind her or something. Or maybe she, she was still in labor. She could have been still in labor. Because that one with the white hair, that one that you got in your hand, that looked like it was just fresh out. Yeah. Acho que são quatro machos e seis fêmeas. Ok, so six females and four males. Ok. You're such a clever girl, do you know you're thirsty? No, you just want to look after babies. Good mother, young mother. Não, mas ele não é albino. Não. Ele tem é como é. Oh, two bebés lindos, two bebés lindos. So lindos. Ten babies. I can't, I, how did she, I don't know how she fitted them inside, fit them inside her. Because she wasn't that big. Yeah, no. 
I don't know, there's one that looks like Ogun. You sure that he's uh, mutant? Well, Ogun there's doesn't two, have... There's two Oguns over there. No, 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 no. Okay, straight since six months. Yeah. He's never seen one of real. Blackie, Blackie. Yes, I'm Nina. Oh, Nina. So I think I'm here to have a Nina. Oh, it's a good one. That one's like Pluto. O Bluto é mais este rato. Eu sei que tem só um minutinho ali. Mas eles são muito bonitos. So the one puppy has decided the best place to sleep is under her ear. <laughs> and look at the others are just in a big mess over there. But everyone is a different colour. It's unbelievable. <laughs> but look at this one's patterns. Like, look at that. It's amazing. It's 20 past seven and I have finally finished working for the day so this is like i started at half past three this morning um working with the school in pakistan and today has just been action-packed with pigs escaping little pigs escaping fixing fences um juno giving birth it's been a crazy crazy day it's like all the things that normally happen in like a two-week period seem to have happened today um Anyway, it's like, but I'm sitting here and I can't stop watching these little puppies. I mean, they're so cute. So I thought she had eight. She's actually got 10. So um, obviously she was still giving uh, birth. But there's one year that looks like it's got um, mascara around its eyes. It's quite cute. Anyway, so that's it from me today. So, um. Keep safe, keep sane, and uh, I'll see you on the next video. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe. See you next time. He's got the wiggle in him.